Money and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live, your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. And hello, everybody. Cecil Chandler here for Carolina and Company Live. We're flying solo today. Amanda's not here. Hopefully, she'll be back tomorrow. we got a great show lined up today, some fun stuff. But we want to find out about first is, of course, the weather, because everybody is outside walking around smiling right now. Your Weather Authority forecast with meteorologist Zach Covey. Another very warm day on tap with high pressure directly overhead, but some late week changes are going to begin to take effect and they'll linger with us through our Sunday, potentially even into Monday morning. So the sunny skies, warm conditions we've dealt with, that's about to go away. The warmth will stay, but emphasis on the sunny skies. You see high pressure has been in control of our region for several days, but that high slowly pushing off the Carolina coastline today and that return flow turns out of the southeast just infecting in moisture from the Atlantic. So increasing clouds are expected tonight and often on rain showers will begin to develop on our Thursday and Friday. Not saying either one of those days will be a complete washout, but you are going to want to have your umbrella handy and maybe even your rain jacket because if there are thunderstorms involved, which there could be in the afternoon, especially on Friday, you don't want to use an umbrella. That's a metal pole sticking up with lightning coming out of the sky. We're in the 70s today along the Grand Strand. Some of these numbers, especially between, let's say, the 4 o'clock hour and the uh, eh, 3 to 6 o'clock hour, let's go with that, could push into the upper 70s. There are locations like Merle's Inlet, Georgetown, potentially Cherry Grove that could come close to 77, 78 degrees today. So the Grand Strand overall, the mid 70s, but there are some locations that could exceed that. Inland, very sunny, and we are really talking the 80 degree mark across the area for an average. There are some cities, especially the farther west you go of 95, that could push in to the 83 degree mark, cities like Darlington or Hartsville. Then we're talking about our pollen. Our pollen really is high right now, but it is going down. The reason why Friday, Saturday and Sunday, you see that decrease because of the increasing storm system. That's the storm system in the Great Plains brings us that scattered activity combined with the Atlantic moisture Friday and Saturday. Then the actual cold front with this storm will swing on through the region Sunday night into Monday morning. That means it's happening when a lot of the daytime energy is not around for us. So we're not necessarily saying severe storms are a given, but I would continue to check back because severe storms are likely across the upstate, but I do think they'll weaken substantially by the time they reach our region. All right, welcome back. All right, we've got a great lineup today on Carolina and Company Live. First, of course, Hollywood Minute, and then we're going to talk about video of the day where we always find something exciting. And the celebrity birthdays, I know you keep up with your favorite celebrity, and I'll tell you about that today. Plus, app of the week, and today's guest. Well, we're going to be talking about a lot of neat things today, and how you can get involved in your favorite charity to donate to them. Plus, we're going to be talking about Medicare. But first, let's find out about the Hollywood Minute. Everything you see this together in a delicate balance. The circle of life continues. Disney just dropped the first full trailer for The Lion King. Donald Glover, Beyonce, and James Earl Jones lead the voice cast of the studio's latest remake, which is set to hit theaters July 19th. I know I said no more surprises, but I was really hoping to pull off one last one. It's no surprise tickets for Avengers Endgame are going fast. Fandango reports in the first week of pre-sales, it sold five times as many tickets for the Marvel sequel as it did for Avengers Infinity War. 
thousands of showtimes are sold out, and some theaters are adding screenings as early as 4 a.m. on opening day, April 26th. So let me get this right. We're forced to listen to this spa music so your head doesn't explode and kill us all. Sonic! Check out this casting session sneak peek for Pokemon Detective Pikachu. Ryan Reynolds, who provides the title character's voice, posted the clip to YouTube with the comment, you should have seen the audition room when we were done. In Hollywood, by way of Rhyme City, I'm David Daniel. All right, the Hollywood Minute always keeps us updated on things happening in Hollywood and all over. Right now, we're going to talk about the video of the day. Now, you got to check this one out. Last Sunday, a camel was taken to a pet smart in Michigan. Jeffrey the camel is part of a farm and petting zoo. Now, his trainer needed to know the camel's exact weight in order to know how much medicine and vaccines Jeffrey needed. Well, a video on the zoo's Facebook showing Jeffrey heading into the pet smart has gone viral with more than 100,000 views. Can you turn around? You know, you can bring your pet in there, but when you turn around at PetSmart and you see a camel walking down the aisle, wow, <laughs> that'll make heads turn, I promise you. All right, let's talk a little bit about what we got all our promotional items, our t-shirts, hats, and everything. Well, we're talking about surf water promotions right there on, off Homestown Road in Myrtle Beach. That's the place we get everything that we use to hand out to different people. I'm talking about t-shirts, hats, visors, coffee cups, pens, keychains, anything you want. And they'll even put your company name on it and on your car. They will wrap your car. Small orders or huge orders. If you want five t-shirts or 10,000, Surfwater Promotions can handle it. And don't forget, you check them out. Surfwater Promotions, and boy, you would not believe the neat shirts I just got. Colored shirts with our logo on it from Carolina and Company Live. All right, let's talk a little bit about Myrtle Beach Total Wine and more on Seaboard Street. They just opened today, uh, today and they'll be donating a portion of their sales from Thursday, April 11th through Sunday to support the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. So you go buy Total Wine and more on Seaboard here in Myrtle Beach and uh, make a purchase. And of course, some of that money goes to support the Myrtle Beach Art Museum. We thank them for doing that. All right, let's find out about today. Today is Thursday, April 11th, and this is National Pet Day and what makes it happen day. How about that? And it's also Flash Pelts, Felt's uh, birthday on Sirius Radio 60s. Birthday today, 1969, Gold Dust, 50 years old, born of course, Dusty Rose. Numerous championships, including WWF, made his wrestling debut in 1988. His signature move, the clothesline. And of course, his dad was a wrestler too. 1981, Alexandria Ambrosia, 38 years old, Victoria's Secret model uh, in 2012, number six, listen to this, on Forbes' money list for models, she made $6.6 .6 million. I think I'm in the wrong business. 1987, Josh Stone, 32 years old, the British soul singer, debut album, The Soul Sessions. She suffered, she had, uh, she was in high school for, dyslex she suffered from dyslexia. I think I got that right, didn't I? Close to it. All right, here we go. I'm sorry. 1970, Apollo 13 is launched on this day in history. And also in 1976, the Apple I is created. And boy, have they come a long way since then. All right, now from the know-it-all department, here it is, what you've been waiting on. Does anyone know what M&M actually stands for? On the candy, M&M. Y'all know? Anybody know? Nobody knows. Mars and Murray's the last name of the candy founders. So now you know what M&M's stands for. And guess what? They melt in your mouth, not in your hand. That's what I've been told, but they melt my hand too. That's it from the Know It All Department today. We've got a great show lined up. Sit back and relax because you're gonna learn something today. A new app helps you find gig economy jobs for extra income. See how after our advertiser. lots of job apps, but the new Steady app helps you think beyond traditional work. It's designed to help you earn extra cash based on your location, interest, and availability. Within the app, you will find gig economy jobs like overnight dog sitting, renting your car for cash, or getting paid to put an advertisement on your car.
Other part-time opportunities include transcription or translation work, doing website research, or even surveys from home. You can work as much or as little as you want. Whether you want to earn extra income to save up for a trip, or if you're between jobs and could use some cash, the new Steady app helps you find extra income opportunities. I'm Francie Black. For more great apps, visit TechTangoToday.com. More than 63 million Americans are enrolled in Medicare, and this year more than a third of all enrollees selected Medicare Advantage plans. We're joined today by Dr. Rhonda Randall, a board certified physician and geriatrician and chief medical officer of Unite, United Healthcare. Dr. Randall is with us to discuss how you can make the most of your Medicare coverage. Thank you for joining us, Dr. Randall. Thank you for having me. All right, so what kind of extras might people with Medicare Advantage be eligible for and how can they learn about how to use them? Well, Amanda and Cecil, this is an important time of year for Medicare beneficiaries to learn about the benefits of their plan. Medicare Advantage plans, which are private plans by companies like United Healthcare, often contain additional benefits and services, many times at no additional cost to the beneficiary. These may be things like vision, dental, hearing, transportation, fitness benefits, and others. You know, it seems like many health plans are moving beyond that traditional role and focusing on uh, member well-being. Can you tell us more about that? Yes, that's true. We're very focused on the customer service experience and most importantly, health outcomes. We want to see that people are getting the right care at the right time at the right place. So there's a lot of compassion and additional support that is available through Medicare Advantage plans today. All right, for those who may not be familiar, what is Medicare Advantage and how is it different than original Medicare? Well, Medicare Advantage must include all of the things that are included in original Medicare. So Medicare Advantage includes your Part A coverage, that's your inpatient care, hospitalization, for example, your Part B coverage, that's outpatient and physician services, and many also include Part D or prescription drug coverage. In addition to that, all of this is bundled together in a simpler, easier to understand structure with one card in your wallet. Uh, I know that Medicare Advantage plans have, uh, you know, grown in popularity in recent years. Why do you think that is? Well, you're right. One third of Medicare beneficiaries are choosing a private Medicare Advantage plan. And in fact, baby boomers are choosing Medicare Advantage plans at an even faster rate, where one in every two baby boomers are choosing Medicare Advantage plans. That's often because, as I mentioned earlier, it's simpler to understand. There's one card in your wallet and one number to call for all of your needs and support. The second is the cost structure. Medicare Advantage plans have much more predictable cost, often in the form of co-pays, and there's protection in the form of a maximum out-of-pocket cost. And lastly, those extras, those value-added services, in addition to benefits, often support through a program that United Healthcare has called Navigate For Me that can help individuals who have a complex medical condition from a concierge-type support to navigate that complicated healthcare system. Other things would be like our house calls program where a nurse practitioner will come to the comfort of your home and do a comprehensive assessment once a year. All right, thank you for being with us today. We'll be back in just a few minutes with more Carolina and Company Live. And welcome back. All right, coming up May 7th, that is Palmetto Giving Day, where you can get involved and make donations to uh, the nonprofit charitable organizations in the area. And one of those is the uh, Children's Recovery Center. And Louise is with us today to talk a little bit. First off, before we talk in the day of giving, let's talk, tell them first. I know they've told it before. Right. What Children's Recovery Center is all about. Uh, the Children's Recovery Center is the Child Advocacy Center for Ori and Georgetown counties. We provide services for kids who are victims of sexual abuse and physical abuse. Uh, we provide a physical exam, forensic interviews, and effective advocacy for these children and referral for other services. And uh, last year, how many kids? Last year, we saw 377 children, nice. as opposed to 347 the year before. So our business, we're, it's very busy. Um, we're able to help lots of kids. 
Uh, there's never a charge for anyone to come to the Children's Recovery Center. So uh, fundraising is really important to us. It is. And yes. all right, now, the, this day of giving, now what can they do, you know, the Palmetto Giving Day? What so, can they do? Well, what, they can, what everyone can do, on Palmetto Giving Day, uh, we're joined with, I think it's 52 other nonprofit right. organizations. And um, you can go to the Palmetto Giving Day website and you can donate online. Um, to your favorite charity. Uh, most of us have been offered matching funds for for that day. Right. So, exam for example, if you make a $20 donation to the Children's Recovery Center, we're really getting $40. So that's So great. it's a great, yeah, it's a great day. And it's a great chance to uh, give and double your donation. And you can give from midnight, May 7th, until 11.59 p.m. All right, now this is a big day for all the nonprofit organizations. Right? It now, is you a big always day. have other little fundraisers too. You got we, another one coming up this Sunday, which is so do. much fun. It I enjoy fun. this one. It is fun. It's the golf cart poker run, and our good friend Sean Crowley uh, runs this for us every year. And it's uh, it starts at Scotty's Beach Bar in Surfside at noon. And you can register there. It's only ten dollars to play for each poker hand. And you can keep playing. You can buy more hands, <laughs> whatever, right. you, like I did last year, and still on. That, that's it was a lot that's of fun. Right. It is a lot of fun. <laughs> it is a lot of fun. And then everybody hops in their golf carts, and we go. We make about five stops, and we end up at Beer Thirty in Surfside. And uh, whoever gets the best poker hand wins for the day. And uh, I think the prize is a, a two-night stay at the Surfside Beach Hotel. This That's year, good. yeah, and then he has all sorts of uh, raffle prizes, and uh, it's a really fun day. It is a fun day. That's yes. what you got to do now. This week, got Scotty's be down there before 12, bring your golf cart, yep. and uh, you know, we're going to drive them we'll all around to go to all the places. We'll give you a pinwheel to put on your golf cart because pinwheel is the symbol for child abuse prevention. Yeah. That's right. I think we yep. had a picture a minute ago of all of us in the golf cart right. when we went around and did it last year, and uh, it was just a lot of fun. It is a lot so of fun. So, if you're wanting to know more about this, Go right to the Children's Recovery Center uh, dot org and you can find out how you can give to the Children's Recovery Center because it's a, a very worthwhile. I'm, they, I'm lucky enough to allow me to still be on the board there, so uh, that's we're one of my honored favorite, to have you. That's one of my favorite. <laughs> we're charities. honored to have you. Get you get to help kids, and I really right. like that. Right, and we also Thanks. have yep. information on our website about Palmetto Giving Day as that's well. That's right. You can find it all right there. Yep. All right. Yep. Thanks, okay. Louise. Thanks, Cecil. All right, we got more coming up. Now we're going to talk with another organization about you know, uh, Palmetto Giving Day. That's coming up. Stay with us. We'll be right back. All right, we want to remind you once again that May 7th is Palmetto Day of Giving for a lot of nonprofit organizations, over 50 of them. And one of them is SOS, SOS Healthcare. And Jamie's with us now to talk a little bit about, tell us about SOS Healthcare first before we get started. So SOS is a nonprofit that serves individuals with disabilities. Um, and we are actually celebrating 30 years in the Myrtle Beach area this year. 30 years? Yeah. That is amazing. Now, what all do y'all do to help? Um, so we actually have about 14 different programs that range from 18 months old all the way through adulthood. Um, so we have programs for individuals with autism and other intellectual disabilities. We have programs for social skill development. We have summer camps. We even have job training for adults. Um, and that's just a few. <laughs> wow, okay. Now, you know, up to 30, 35 years ago when autism, there was very little known about it and nobody really pushed. But now there's a learning process that we have to teach people about. Yes, so um, SOS provides applied behavior analysis therapy, um, which is considered the evidence based treatment for autism. Um, so, ABA is an intensive one on one program with trained therapists, um, and it helps kids with autism develop communication, functional skills, social skills. Um, and basically try to, you know, help them reach the level of their peers. I mean, that's important. These kids are at a young age and they've got to deal with it for the rest of their lives. And, and working with you, you help them. Yes, yes, we do. Um, and we, um, in the ABA program, we see so many kids and uh, as young as 18 months. And it's one of those programs that the earlier you get in, the better. Early intervention is key. Yeah, about how, roughly how many kids a year do you see? Do you um, in the ABA program, we have about 100. Okay. Um, overall, for kids and families, we saw about 1,700 last year. All right, let's talk about Palmetto Giving. How can they help you? Uh, so SOS is participating in Palmetto Giving Day. This will be our second year. We're really excited. Um, so Palmetto Giving Day supports organizations that work in the Georgetown County area. And we actually just opened our clinic in Georgetown. So we'll be having events that day, including a car lock-in at Beach Mazda oh. and trivia night at Johnny D's. Um, so people can come out and join us for those events or they can donate on palmettogivingday.org. All right. 
Thanks so much for being with us, Jamie. We appreciate it. Thank you. All right, we got more coming up. We'll be right back. And welcome back to Carolina Company Live. Hopefully Amanda will be back tomorrow because it's Friday. The weekend's here. we got another great show planned, a lot of interesting stuff. Now, if you'd like to be on the show, contact us. We do all nonprofits and a business. If you have a business, we'd love to put you on to and talk about it. All you got to do is contact me right here at WPDE TV 15. Have a great day. See you Friday, everybody. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees.